Good afternoon, everyone. Comet Pan Stars C 2017 S3 brightening significantly overnight. This will be the track of the comet as it comes through the solar system. You can see it's going to dip below the ecliptic on what is termed a hyperbolic trajectory. Now the closest approach to the Earth is going to be on August 8th and as I said they're expecting brightening. But at the perihelion which is the closest to the Sun that will occur on August 15th. It's also expected that this is going to get into the 3.5 range or so for visibility. And what does that really mean for the magnitude on the scale? Well, the naked eye, I put that in blue there, about a four, three to four. You should be able to see this with the naked eye, even in just rural areas, even some neighborhoods as well, but not in the middle of big, large cities such as Tokyo or Hong Kong. But maybe you will if you go on the mountain up there and take the cable car up. Now the most interesting thing though, this comet brightened 16 fold, which means 16 times brighter than the day before in just a single 24 hour period. Now it's almost twice as wide as Jupiter, the planet. This green color is amazing and it's just going to continue to brighten and widen from this point. And while I was on spaceweather.com, a few rainbow contrails in the moonlight here. This was Newfoundland. And also mesmerizing noctilucent clouds, July 6th, Denmark. This is a shout out to Jillian, who I met at the Asian Blockchain Summit. Some energy from space for your entrepreneurial ventures. Maybe I'll have to put a DAP2030 up in the clouds. And if you enjoyed this type of content, please remember to subscribe, click that bell so you can get the latest updates. And I'm also posting at least three times a week now on mini Ice Age conversations, more in depth. Talk about the grand solar minimum, the news distractions to keep you away from rising food prices, plus interesting guests iTunes, Stitcher Radio, Libsyn, SoundCloud, and anywhere on the net that you can find a podcast. Many Ice Age conversations. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video.